Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to multiply three integers, and we're going to be working with both positive and negative integers. Now remember, when it comes to multiplying integers, different signs equal a negative, and the same signs equal a positive. Let's jump into number one, where we have negative four times three times negative seven. So when we are multiplying three or more integers, what we can do, we can multiply two at a time in order to break the problem down and get to our product. Remember, product just means the answer to a multiplication problem. We're going to go left to right here, so let's start with negative four times three. So we have a negative times a positive, different signs, so we will have a negative here. Let's think of this as four times three, which is 12, and again, it's going to be negative. Bring down our multiplication sign and the negative seven. So now we end with negative 12 times negative seven. We have a negative and a negative, so same signs. That's going to give us a positive product. Let's think of this as 12 times seven which is 84, and again, that's going to be positive. Final answer, positive 84. Now I do wanna mention one more thing before moving on to number two, and it has to do with the order in which we solved the problem. Since we're only working with multiplication, we can do three times negative seven first and still get the same answer. This is because of the associative property. It's how we group our factors. Factors are the numbers we are multiplying. Let's see exactly what that means here. So I will rewrite our problem, negative four times, and then I'm going to put three times negative seven in parentheses here to show that we are doing that first and we are not working from left to right. So three times negative seven, we have a positive times a negative, different signs, that's going to give us a negative. Think of this as three times seven, which is 21, and again, it's going to be negative. Then we can bring down our multiplication sign and the negative four. So we end with negative four times negative 21. So we have the same signs, a negative times a negative here. That's going to give us a positive. Let's think of this as four times 21, which is 84. And again, it's going to be positive. So we get 84 that way as well. So that's something to keep in mind when working through these types of problems. Let's move on to number two, where we have five times negative 10 times two. We'll work our way from left to right, starting with five times negative 10. So we have a positive times a negative, different signs, we are going to get a negative. Let's think of this as five times 10, which is 50. And again, it's going to be negative. Bring down our multiplication sign and the two. So we end with negative 50 times two. We have different signs here, a negative times a positive, so we know it's going to be negative. Think of this as 50 times two, which is 100. And again, it's going to be negative. Final answer, negative. 100. Now let's do that same problem, but we'll do negative 10 times 2 first and show that we will get negative 100 that way as well. So I will rewrite the problem here. 5 times negative 10 times 2. And again, I'm putting that in parentheses to show that we are doing that part first and we're not just going from left to right. So negative 10 times two, a negative times a positive, different signs, that's going to give us a negative. We can think of this as 10 times two, which is 20. And again, it's going to be negative. Bring down our multiplication sign and the five. We end with five times negative 20. So a positive times a negative, different signs, that's going to give us a negative. Let's think of this as five times 20 which is 100, and again, it's negative. Final answer, negative 100 
that way as well. So there you have it. There's how you multiply three integers. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.